Hey, Phantomaniacs, welcome to the newest unboxing here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. Today, we are looking at the, sadly, Walmart-exclusive comic book-style Doctor Strange. This went up for pre-order, I don't know how many months ago, but it was actually delivered the other day, much to my surprise. Uh, got some nice art on the side here, almost some uh, Lee Weeks-looking art, not sure, uh, but... Great. I mean, look at that. Look at the bright colors on this guy. I've got a couple of comic... Doctor Strange is not one of my guys. I've got a couple of comic uh, Doctor Strange figures, but he's not anybody I go out on my way for. But when I saw this and the pre-order was going to be easy enough to get, uh, I went ahead and grabbed a couple. Uh, one for me and one for my son, who is now collecting these very expensive Marvel Legends. Doctor Strange... Stephen Strange was a brilliant surgeon before an accident ruined his hands. Now he defends our reality from supernatural threats as Earth's Sorcerer Supreme with sour cream. Uh, so let's open this guy up. I mean, we all know what Marvel Legends packaging looks like here. Uh, it is interesting, though, that it's just Doctor Strange. It's not part of any kind of wave or anything. And, and I do have to wonder why this was any kind of exclusive release. Uh, I feel like it should have just been part of a wave, but it does have, I guess, enough extra stuff uh, to justify it being exclusive. So, we've got a couple of extra heads here. Oh my gosh, blue head, get out of there. Uh... Hands, a stick of some kind. Oh, and you guys, uh, if you are big fans of Doctor Strange, uh, feel free to be completely annoyed with me that I don't know what any of these things are. Tell me in the comments what these items are. Uh, I am basically just here to say if they look cool or not. I am not here. Th this is not... A class in Doctor Strangeness. This is simply me looking at an action figure and determining if it's cool enough to be in my collection. All right, so this is kind of funny because I just recently uh, reviewed uh, the new The Batman figure, and he's got this side eye going on, and now you've got Stephen Strange with almost a legendary Liz Lemon eye roll happening here, but I like it. Because it, well, you know what? This is interesting. Is it just the way the paint looks? Because from, from this angle, which is how I'm looking at it because of how I record this, it looks like he's kind of doing an eye roll. But then when I move him down a little bit, he is looking straight ahead. And also, so yeah, that I think it's just the way the paint is in there if you look at him from that angle. Uh, so anyway, kind of uh, almost a little Pierce Brosnan-y. But the hair, the sculpt, I feel like the sculpt on these is getting sharper and sharper and sharper. Uh, he looks fantastic. Tons of character in this. You can see he's got, of course, the white on the sides. But, I mean, the paint, look how sharp the paint applications are here. Uh, just Hasbro is doing really phenomenal work with some of these Marvel Legends. And, you know, I feel bad because I'm one of the people who's kind of like, oh, I'm over Marvel Legends, but because of the, the reuse of parts, which is a necessity for the line, and I understand that. But when you get a good Marvel Legends figure, it tends to be a great figure. Uh, okay, so he's got a new sculpt. Well, I, you know, my familiarity is not such. I believe this is all new sculpted uh shirt or tunic perhaps uh and sleeves and everything and you've got this okay so this is my personal preference i i have grown somewhat disenchanted with double joints i like this nice uh you know hidden in the sculpt look at that nice deep bend uh but you don't have the weird interruption of profile that a double jointed elbow gives you and penless. Look at that. No pins uh, on his elbows. So that is a really fantastic thing as well. Uh, he's got his cool little spell casting hands going on right there. Uh, he's got the Kirby touch 
on the forearms. The eye is closed and is painted in gold. So that looks cool. And then you can see all of this great sculpted detail uh, going around his cloak. Uh, this is a very impressive figure in hand. Like once once you get it out of the box, you can really see all of the detail. Look, you can even see this sort of bat looking thing on the front of his tunic that's sculpted and painted. So this isn't just painted on, it's actually sculpted on as well. Really fantastic. And then of course his belt looks great, hanging nice and like long. I love that. Uh, and then legs wise, he's got kind of just your standard Marvel Legends legs. Uh, they do have the pens, but they're all black. So I really don't care. The only time I have a problem, I mean, I would love for everything to be penless, but the only time that I really have a problem with pens is when they're a different color from the surrounding area. So like here, this is fine. You know, throw these Spider-Man legs on this guy and let him rock and roll. It's not a problem. Uh, so, I mean, look at this. This is a great looking sorcerer right here. But then he comes with, because I think it, I think this was $24.99 back before everything was starting to be $24.99. Uh, so it was kind of a deluxe figure, but now it's just regular price. Look at the, even the little eyes in there. Uh, they kept the paint out of those eyes. So those are the darker blue of the tunic underneath the lighter blue of this insignia. Uh, really nice. Uh, okay, so he came with a bunch of stuff. This is the Axe of Attitude. I don't know what this is. If this is a specific axe, uh, please do leave me a comment. I, what I should do is consult with our head of research, Ryan Schweck, before I do these videos so he can tell me what all this stuff is. So here is what makes this axe so absolutely incredible in, in really the history of Marvel Legends is this, the, the haft of it, the handle of it, whatever, is a rigid, firm plastic. And then this is flexible, which is absolutely 100% fine. Uh, if that's a safety thing or whatever the deal is, I don't know and I don't care. But this is not going to warp or bend or be a problem because it is a nice, sturdy, rigid plastic. I love it. Uh, look at all the sculpted detail. And there, not only is there sculpted detail, but you can see there's a wash of paint uh, on the metal parts of this as well. This is a fantastic looking weapon. Uh, again, leave me a comment. Let me know what the heck this thing is, but it's, it's awesome. It's great. Uh, and then you have a couple of magic effects, which we've seen, you know, many times before, but they just, they have a really nice translucent look to them, uh, with the darker orange on the outside. They just clip onto the figure's wrists. I'll go ahead and do that just so you guys can see how that works. I'm a little concerned because it seems like this plastic, is, nah, there we go, you're fine. So they just, uh, you can put the smaller one actually is probably going to work better. Here is the easiest way to do this, I guess, is just take that hand off, stick it through the little loop there, and then put the hand back on. And that'll kind of secure it in place as well because it's between... It's in the joint between the hand and the wrist, uh, and then it stays it stays put uh, for your posing needs. So it looks cool, works really well, and that you know that ring, which if you want to put it further up the wrist, I guess is what that's there for. But it just looks like part of the magic business. So works really well, looks good. Got this thing. Uh, Whatever the heck it is, it's got a little face on it up there. Oops, sorry. Got out of frame. Uh, it's got a little face up there, some horns. Uh, it is same deal as the axe. This portion is a nice rigid plastic, and then the horns are a little, little softer, but it's okay because they retain their shape nicely, and the whole thing doesn't bec become a like saggy, warped piece of nonsense. So... This is great, whatever it is. Uh, he's got two more hands and uh, fists because every once in a while, well, he's got one fist, and then he's got a C grip for the uh, axe or the 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 double horn toilet wand, uh, and then a head for concentrating or astral projecting, perhaps. And you'll notice 
that he's got a little bit of a different hair thing going on with the closed eye head. So I like that they did that. Although what would be really awesome? Ah, uh, it would have been really cool if they did what they did with the uh, Dristo Erden figure and had it so you could switch the hair between the heads. That would have been the ultimate awesomeness. Uh, but you can also, you can see as the gray is down a little bit further. So this has kind of a, a uh, I don't know what the effect is here, but it looks cool and it's something different. And then finally, we have a blue head. Because sometimes Doctor Strange is bald and blue. I, I don't know, you guys. Uh, explain it to me in the comments. I have no idea. Uh, it's not Dr. Manhattan because it doesn't have the little thing. And also, he's DC. Uh, it's just some blue person. So tell me about that. Explain the blue person to me. So let's get uh, let's get this guy geared up a little bit. I'm going to put uh, his magic on this arm. Because I want this guy doing some magic and fighting with that killer axe which it kind of stinks because in my head i i just like on my display i kind of just want to have him doing magic stuff but this axe looks so awesome I, I really do need somebody to explain this axe to me and yes i know i can go look it up but it's more fun to tell you guys to leave comments uh i'm sure after, after the video is done i will go look it up and see what the heck it is so you can have dr strange Casting a spell with his little spell doodly and uh, holding that axe up, getting ready to chop some evil demon's head off. Ready for action. Look at that. That's a killer Doctor Strange figure. I am super stoked about this one. Uh, yeah, sure, it doesn't look like Benedict Cumberbatch, but this isn't the movie. This is the comic, which is why he kind of looks a little Brosnan y to me, anyway. Uh, but there you go. Awesome Doctor Strange. Who knows if they'll ever show up in stores. If you pre-ordered one, good for you. Uh, if it arrived without being smashed, double good for you. Because I got a bunch of Star Wars figures from Walmart that are just absolutely crushed. Uh, so this guy looks great. Look, I mean, I can't wait to put him... You know what? He's not going on the shelf. He's going on the desk. I'm going to have to keep him out to play around with for a little while. Because I love this figure. Even though I'm not a huge Doctor Strange guy, this is a dynamic, exciting figure. Thanks for watching, you guys. Please tell your friends about Needless Things. Like, subscribe, share, and uh, tell me about this axe. Woo! Smash that like button if you like Needless Things.